Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Brown's Classroom for Maths in Term 2, Week 4. This week we're looking at place value and we're going to continue some of our number knowledge from last week to help us with our place value work this week. So, let's get in and have a look. Well, in our learning routine overview, we're having a look here to see what we have. We've got some information about place value here. And we've also got a video here that's going to help you. So it's always good to make sure that you watch that video before you start any activities. Then you've got your resources over here, which talk about our answers sheets that are here, as well as our parent guide. Now, our answer sheet is for our math mentals. And our worksheets here. These are included here in your class notebook or have been attached to your parent email that's been sent out. Also, with your Mathletics this week, you've got some work to do here. Please make sure, though, you're looking at your class and checking that it's showing up as Class 6Z. I've had a few people talking to us about the fact that their activities aren't showing up, and that's because they're still looking at their student assigned in the Class 6W or whichever class you're in. At this time, we've assigned all students to the 6Z class, just to make it easier to make sure that everyone can get assigned tasks easily. So please make sure that over on the left, right hand side I should say, it's a little sign that says 6Z. Please make sure that's showing up. Then in our activities, we've got our integers A and integers B worksheet. So the students are to work through those and complete that. For our activity two, we're looking at our two digit multiplication problems. So making sure that you're going through and completing those, showing good, clear working out, as again, this is one that your teacher will be providing feedback on. Now, something that I have noticed is some people have been including their working out and then just answers, depending on what has been included on the parent guide. So please don't just show the answers the working out for the answers that have working out on the parent guide. You need to show you working out for all questions. That way we can see how you got that answer and how we can assist you with your learning. Very important. So going through those activities, there are six problems here for you to work through and show your working out for each of them. Now another one, this is a word problem. How many cupcakes does he have all together? It's important not just to show a mathematical equation, also provide a sentence answer. So in this one, once I've calculated how many cupcakes he has all together, I might create a sentence that says, he has X amount of cupcakes all together. That way you're showing that you have worked it out and here is my final answer. Just makes things quite clear and easy to mark. Then in our math mentals, We've got our math mentals for each day, just like normal, and going through and answering those. You can do that on your sheet or print them out and do them at home, whichever works easier for you. Well, that's it for maths in week four in our place value. We hope that you're all staying safe and keeping well. Looking forward to seeing you back in the classroom soon. Bye for now.